uh, today we're going to be teaching you how to paint a uh, porch specifically the railings uh, handrails and then the actual railings of the porch um, as well as the spindles so we'll get into um, overall project scheme and then get into what you need as far as gear and supplies um, we'll get into prep work and then the actual painting itself which is the fun part um, important thing to realize with painting anything um, prep work is the most important part uh, I like to think of a, a saying one of my favorite sayings do it right you do it light do it wrong and it won't last long so uh, here we go our supplies today include paint brushes got some different sizes uh, use the bigger ones for bigger spots obviously and these are good for cutting in um, some of the smaller spots especially the spindles we have couple pairs of sanding blocks this will be a really important part of the prep work we have a five-in-one tool uh, slash scraper this works well for getting bigger chunks of paint off uh, we have a paint tray this is good just to uh, hold paint uh, pretty self-explanatory we have wood filler for big gaps or holes in the actual wood itself on the porch railing. We have gloves. We have caulk. This will be good around any joining pieces that are gonna come in apart, like right here. Probably run a bead of caulk down that. Wipe it down with my finger. We have painter's tape slash masking tape. We have TSP, which is good to clean and prep the surface before we paint. And we have the paint itself, porch, floor, and patio latex paint. This is really good exterior paint. It'll hold up uh, for years to come. So the first part of prepping for painting is gonna be using your five-in-one tool uh, to scrape all of the loose paint off. So if you come over here, see all of this paint needs to be scraped. So really, um, you don't need to dig in, put a lot of weight into it. Just a light pressure, even with one finger, you can just go over like this. Um, that'll get what you need to scrape off. Again, you don't need to put all your weight on it. Get in there, that's gonna um, mess up the wood actually. You just wanna get the loose chips off. So after you're using your five-in-one tool and scraping off the loose paint chips, you're gonna get some of this uh, caulk, DAP, Alex Flex. It's ready to paint in 30 minutes, so it's really nice. Uh, you don't have to wait around for hours to uh, paint over this stuff. So where the wood joins together and there's a bit of a gap, this is a perfect spot to put a little bead of caulk. Put a bead, grab your finger, and just run it down the side. And it's really all there is to it. Um, the reason you wanna do this, and I'll show you over here where we've painted. Here's an example of where I did that before we painted. So as you can see, it looks really nice and finished. Um, and then over here is where I actually did not use this caulk. And you can see there's a gap, there's some paint in there. Um, overall, for lack of better words, it just looks a lot more professionally done uh, when you use caulk. Another part of the prep that you can do is get some wood filler. This is for larger holes uh, or if you're when you're chipping the paint off with your scraper, uh, sometimes wood chunks pop up and you tear those off. This is what you can use this for. So down here, that's exactly what happened. We were chipping paint off and some of the wood chipped up, so we just pulled it off. What you can do, grab this wood filler. Take your putty knife, and it's probably way too much, but just kind of mold it into that spot. Make it nice and flat and easy to paint. Doesn't have to be perfect right now because when this dries, um, you will actually sand it down, and make it flush with the wood. So just kind of work it in there and then scrape off the excess. After you stripped all the loose paint off, caulked, and use your wood filler, you can go ahead and grab your sanding block. And what you wanna do here is just get um, 
all the smaller chunks, I guess, if you will, of paint uh, off of the surface you're gonna be painting. You don't have to go crazy, you're really just refining the, uh, the first part of the prep work. And then anywhere you've used your wood filler, you can go ahead and sand that down as well. You gonna make that nice and flush with the wood. So when you run your finger over it, you should be able to feel any bumps from that wood filler. stage in the prep work, uh, pick up a chemical called TSP at Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever. It's a hard surface cleaner, gets off all the grease and grime, mildew, mold. Um, and all you do, you dissolve uh, some of this TSP in hot water. It says on the direction, so I'm not going to go through everything, um, but dissolve it in some hot water, get you a sponge, and then just wipe down the surface that you're getting ready to paint. Uh, you'll see here we got cardboard down. It's important and they note this on the back of the box to put your uh, bucket or whatever your water and your TSP is in, put it on cardboard or something so it doesn't leave a ring, uh, like a coffee ring on your coffee table, except that the chemicals on your porch or your, your deck or whatever. Uh, and then you'll also know I masked around where we don't want to get chemicals and we don't want to get paint. and ready to mix. I got a paint mixer on the end of my drill. Uh, let's go ahead and stick it on in and just start off real slow. Mix it up so there's no chunks or anything in the paint. Do this for a couple minutes and then we'll be ready to uh, transfer to our paint buckets. After the paint's mixed up and you got it in your paint tray, get your paintbrush and then um, start painting. <laughs> kind of the point of this whole thing. So get a little bit of paint off, get the extra, and then go ahead and just start uh, start painting. Get all the edges, um, the sides of the wood. And keep on going. So Put one coat on, let that dry, and then probably do maybe two, three coats, um, and then you'll be good to go.